So my flagship thing I talk about now is the 7S. And this is what I'll spend some two hours or more doing in a workshop. Because I think this is fundamental to get people to, to hook the audience, to really hook them before you even open your mouth. And again, as I said before, everything is at the subconscious level. People don't realise what they're doing. So I'm going to run through very quickly what those seven S's are. The first S is how you walk the stage, or how you walk on stage. It's stride. I call it stride with purpose. Every movement you make is with purpose. Have you ever seen people presenting who just sort of look, they, don't, they just amble, they don't look like they've got any real purpose, and they're, they're rocking backwards and forwards perhaps, and there's no, no logic to their movement, no reason. So it's move with purpose. From one side of the stage to the other, to the front of the stage, you move purposely. The next S, and there's no set order for these, there's no set order other than striding to the front, is where you stand, and that's the sweet spot. That's the point of power. On a stage, it's very, very, the centre of a stage and my toes are right on the very front, right on the edge of stage, so I can engage with the audience and I'm close to them. The further back I get, you'll notice you get more distant and more insignificant. The closer you get, the more large you become to people. And of course, there's a limit where you, be, you can invade personal space. So you gauge that space where you're imposing and powerful. It's the point of power, the sweet spot. The fourth S, sounds strange, is stop. That's what I've just done now. It's the pause. It means you come to the front, you get yourself set up, but you don't speak straight away. You hold the audience in suspense. You pause. Now, there's several reasons. Usually, an audience is still speaking, there's people doing things. And I don't believe, I want, I'm not going out to the audience pleading with them to come to me. I want them coming to me, to come to the palm of my hands. As the speaker, I'm in control. It's all about control. Everything I'm talking about here is about power, authority and control. So I pause for as long as it takes. And usually the audience do my job for me by nudging each other. Whilst you're doing this, you're doing what I call, and this is a funny one, I say sweep the room. Yes, you're engaging the whole room and spotting, but you're also going into expanded awareness, a peripheral vision. You know, when you need a foveal, direct vision, locking eyes of someone, it's confrontational. But if you just look at the general area of their face and you can see what's going on, expanding your vision, you can see movement in the corners of the room. You can see movement outside which allows you to engage with more of the audience as you see movement there, perhaps someone there to engage with. So you do the expanded awareness. And of course, all this time you're doing this, you smile, because that smile engages people, it just loosens them all up. The smile is so critical because no one wants to be with someone serious the whole time. And it doesn't mean a cheesy grin throughout, but just are you generally happy to be there? So bring that warmth out. The final S is straightforward, really. You've done all those things and all the preparation. You've hooked the audience. Now it's your turn to speak. So speak out. And that's the final S. Steve Katchik is a highly effective trainer and coach in public speaking and presenting. And he's put together some great information for you, including a free uh, interview where he really goes into depth into some of the key strategies you can implement immediately to improve your speaking and presenting skills just by implementing a few very simple strategies. So enter your details in the box over on the right and we'll be happy to send that interview to you immediately.